Welcome, folks, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Today on the episode, though, we are diving into the oceans. I believe we have once before, but we're diving back into the oceans for a very special episode because, in case you haven't noticed, in Avatar The Way of Water, one of the new alien creatures in there actually is based on a plesiosaurus. So we are diving into the facts you need to know about the plesiosaurus. Fun fact, also not a dinosaur like uh, anything that was flying in the air, prehistoric reptiles. They are prehistoric marine reptiles, and they are officially not dinosaurs. Scientific name is Plesiosaurus dolichodorius, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it is, of course, in the plesiosaur family. The name means a near lizard as well. Plesiosaurus is a large marine uh, saurolingian a reptile from the early Jurassic. It is known from nearly complete skeletons from the Lias or Lias of England. Anybody from England, please don't hurt me over pronunciation. Plesiosaurus had a small body with a long neck and a small head, short tail, and about two pairs of elongated paddles. It was first discovered in 1823, in December actually, by the iconic fossil hunter Mary Anning, which one day we'll do an episode on. From the fossils we can gather, that plesiosaurus would actually reach to about 11 feet in length and up to around 408 pounds. So overall though, compared to a lot of the other marine, a prehistoric marine animals, not that large despite what you may see in movies. Now also despite what people may think, the external nostrils on the plesiosaurus were not at the tip of the snout, compared to what people may think of mostly for nostrils on marine animals or animals in general, but it was actually near the tip of the skull, near the eyes. Speaking of the skull of plesiosaurus, the teeth. The teeth were actually uh, needle-like cones. There was actually four rows of teeth in the plesiosaurus skull. Two up top, on the top of the skull, and of course two on the lower jaw. The upper jaw did have around 20 to 25 teeth while the bottom actually had uh, around 24. Now, Plesiosaurus did have a lot of vertebrae bones because it actually had at least 21 back vertebrae, but because of the iconically long neck, had around 40 neck vertebrae. Some almost going to 22 or 42. And of course, so those are some quick little Plesiosaurus facts for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Dino Times. Um, if you did, leave a like on the video and of course subscribe for more paleo content here on the channel and stay tuned for more Dino episodes of Dino Times with interviews, quick facts, uh, in-depth discussions, and much, much more. Thank you, folks, and remember, science is real.